Hello everyone and welcome to these other tutorials on uh, macOS 10. Uh, today we're going to create an HTML signature in macOS 10.11 El Capitan. Bear in mind this works also in Yosemite. Um, and once you create your HTML you can use that in any platform whether it is a PC or Mac. Today we're gonna focus on a Mac. So the first thing you have to do is to open mail and we're gonna go into mail preferences. On top here, we're going to find signature. We're going to click on signature here. And we're going to create a new signature. I'm going to delete that because I did it before. So uh, just press the plus button here. And I'm going to call this professional signature. And on the right hand side, you have the space to type your signature. Now I'm going to just type XXXX. And the reason is I'm doing this is because uh, it's going to be easier for me to find it. In, in terminal and I show you how to do that. So if you type that it's going to be, make your life easier or just type a, a keyword that you remember. Once you've done that I'm going to just drag this into my account. I've got several accounts here. I'm going to just drag in that in my info at majinacademy.com. I'm going to close this and close mail. The second step we have to go into, um, into the, our browser and what I used to create my uh, signatures is this website. It's called htmlsig.com uh, and that allows you to create free HTML signatures. Now, on the right hand side, we have our beautiful signature with all our social media, and on the left here is the form that you have to fill up. And while you fill up this form, you're gonna see your information popping up on the right. It's live essentially, you see how it looks like straight away. Uh, so you can go to main, you can go to social and just copy and paste all of your social networks. You've got several here and they keep on updating every time. Disclaimer, you decide if you want to have a disclaimer underneath the signature or not, it's up to you. Banner, if you want to sponsor someone or, or even yourself or even this website, doing a great job in doing this. Then you go into style, decide font style, as you can see, it's just changing on the right hand side. Icon, social media icon, if you want to have very small, large, it's up to you. Once you've done that, you just press update signature and after you do that, it's going to give you an option to, um, to, to download the image. In this case, the HTML. As you can see, it's got downloads. So once you press download, you're going to have this, I'm going to close that because I've already done it, but you're going to see essentially a file that looks like this. It's going to be your name at htm, htm or html, that's the same thing. So if I, I created several here, so if I just press on one, press space bar, I created several with different kind of text, uh, disclaimers, not disclaimers, it's up to you. Small icons, bigger icons, we're going to use one of these anyway. So now, once you download the UHTML, what you have to do, you have to open Terminal. Now, um, don't get too much overwhelmed about this. It's not going to be very difficult to use. You just go into your spotlight and type Terminal. Terminal, that's it, is there. So once you open Terminal, it looks like this. Now we have to type something in it. Now, below this video, I paste it um, I copied uh, the string that you have to use in your system. So I put it here just for simplicity. So there are two different ways to do it. You can do it using iCloud Drive or not using iCloud Drive. Now, if you have a Mac with other Apple devices like an iPad, an iPhone, uh, etc., I will probably say that you uh, use the iCloud Drive. Uh, if you don't use it, if your iCloud is off, then you can use not using iCloud Drive. Now, if you don't know what you're using at the moment, easiest way is to go to System Preferences, iCloud, and if your iCloud Drive here is ticked off, means you actually using it. So you just, in this case, I'm using it. So I'm going to use this string here. So what you have to do is simply highlight that string, right click, copy it, paste it here, and press return. And what you see is a list with all these windows that are popping up on the screen are all of your signature. 
In this case, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five signatures. Now, how do I find out the one I just created? Do you remember before when I typed XXX? So you have to search the one with XXX. The easiest way to you for you to do that. Usually, when you you when you launch that string in terminal, the last window that appears is the last signature you created. As you can see, I've got XXX here. I can see it straight away. The other ones have longer, longer strings, longer text, etc. But this is the easiest way for you to find it. If you uh, already created your signature in mail properly and you want to search it, the easiest way would be just clicking on the windows where you're searching and do Command F to find. And then you can type whatever keywords you typed. In this case, I typed XXX. As you can see, it appears here. So I'm sure this is the window I have to work on. I can close the other ones. I don't need them. And now I'm going to go to my signature here. I'm going to choose one of these. So I can choose, let's say, this one here. I can right click. So right click on the HTML and open it with text edit, which comes native with your Mac OS. And it will appear like this. Now bear in mind when you open this HTML, make sure that text in text edit preferences there is a section under open and save. You should tick off the first option. It says when opening a file, display HTML file as HTML code instead of formatted text. So I tick this box. So make sure you tick this box before you open your HTML. So you right click again go to text edit and now it looks like an HTML format. All you need to do here, don't worry about what is written down, just select everything, edit, select all, right click and copy it. Now we have to paste this into our, into our signature. Now we have to leave the first paragraph um, untouched. Everything that is, they start with body, style, color, etc needs to be deleted. We have to highlight all of this and we're going to just press delete. You're going to right click here. I'm going to paste the whole text that we pasted here and now just close it. You don't have to save it. It saves it automatically. Let's close terminal, close all these other windows. We don't need them open anymore. Now we have to reopen mail. So before we do that, we have to quit it first because mail needs to um, reload the signatures we just modified. Click on mail again. And now we're going to go into new message. And remember the account I was uh, I actually dragged that signature into was info at Majin Academy. Now if I go into signature here and I click on professional signature, actually that's what I called it. There we go. Ta-da! This is our HTML signature. Now this is readable in any platform, whether it's Windows or Mac. And you can attach things here and it's not going to mess up anything. So that's the way to create your signature on a Mac. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do that and how to save it into your uh, mobile device, iPhone and iPad. Okay, thanks for watching.